Today we are aiming at tiling floating window managers. We mean by floating window managers, window managers that don't have a fixed window. The window is a floating window, you can float it. It's not fixed in place, it has a title bar and you can maximize it and minimize it with the mouse. So basically the floating window manager focuses mainly in the mouse for your enlarging, and for resizing, for maximizing, minimizing, and also for turning off the window. I am now here in Antix 22, and I am using IceWM. And as you notice, IceWM is a floating window manager. It has, by default, Antix has included before a pseudo tiling, which means I can by a press of a shortcut, I can directly tile this one into half the screen. For example, if I press Ctrl Alt 1, it will be tiled into half of the screen. If I press Ctrl Alt 2, and just to note, this is only for antics. For the others, I will tell you how we can make the shortcuts for this pseudo tiling. And of course, Ctrl Alt 3, Ctrl Alt 4, Ctrl Control alt 9 it will be maximized and of course Control alt 1 will come back to half the space if you want to see all of these keys we go to the control center and here we have in the desktop here we have edit iswm settings and if you want let us put Control alt 2 it will be on this side or we can maximize it Control alt 9 it will be maximized so here we have menu toolbar startup and keys we press the keys and if we go down we can see that key alt control 1 or control alt 1 it will be there is a script you uh, it will have an iswm in antics and that's why it only is in antics wing grid dash left so it will be on the left side wing grid dash right it will be on the other side etc etc now iswm doesn't need wing grid because it has it has it out of the box where it is it is here in the settings preferences key win we have key win tile left key win tile right we have the center bottom right bottom left if we want to uh, get these keys or uh, get them what i did is the following let me close this one what I did is I, I added a file called preference override and in it what I did is I added these keys key win tile left is control 1 and key win tile right is control 2 and key sys tile vertical which is the whole screen control 3 so if you are not on Addix you can use these ones for your uh, override so now I press control 1 it will do the same as control alt 1 and control 2 and control 3 okay so the question is so we, we have solved a part of our problem now we can pseudo tile or if we want to put some manage some windows we can manage them through this method half the screen half the screen maybe half top half top bottom half etc etc but what if i want to when i do a certain uh, applications it will tile directly luckily there is an application and we will get it now and we'll see how it works so we go to the browser and there is a on a github page there is a, a page of on zentile and zentile is an automatic tiling for EWMH compliant window managers and these EWMH is IceWM, Fluxbox, Openbox, XFCE or in other words XFWM4 which is the window manager of XFCE they are all the same so what does it uh, what does it do we go down so it creates it, it creates a configuration file and what you do is let's say you are in a certain workspace you press of course when you 
run the program, when you press Control Shift T in a certain workspace, it will be activated or enabled. Control Shift U, it will be untiled. This is for cycling. The one that interests me is this one, Control plus the bracket, increase size of master windows, and Control plus uh, left bracket and uh, left, uh, right bracket and left bracket, decrease size of master window. And it says the config file is located at home directory.config then tile config.toml. So if you want to download it, it's very simple. You press this one and you have the assets. And as, as we said in the other one, because I'm using CMonkey, this will not be seen. If you are using Firefox, you will see these four. But if you are using CMonkey, you will have four files. Zentile 386, Zentile Linux, AMD 64, source code and the source code. So I already pressed this one and downloaded in the download folder. Okay, so that's half the things that we have done. What we'll do now is we go to the downloads folder and in the downloads per folder I need to activate it or make the permission to be executed so we go to properties these execute I will have to enable them by default they are not empty so we have to enable them and we press ok so we have now the Zentile Linux AMD 64 let me close now this one so we'll open a terminal let's say I'll open the terminal. I need to go to the downloads folder. Of course, you can use this one. You can take it to any path that you uh, want from the bash script to be directly when you press Zentile directly, it will execute it. But for demonstration purposes, I will keep that in the downloads. So first CD downloads and dot slash zentile and that's it and if you want you can press dash v so now it is already running so we have here let us go back to here let us go back also so here first to activate it control shift t it will activate the current workspace okay so we go to workspace 2 now we press Control shift t so now this one is activated workspace 1 if we want to look here it says switching to vertical layout so it is activated let's come back to 2 and we will open let's say this one so we opened a certain file let us open another one and you notice here it tiled it directly and now if I want to let's say increase it to the, this side or increase it to that side you need to have also some shortcuts let us open it open another one so now we have you see how it is tiling the two if we go to the one there's no problem I, I will I will enter it it is not tiled in one there is no tiling in one only in two let's say here I close this let us open a terminal and then all our browser another so here if you notice we have in two we have tiling if we want to remove the tiling you press control shift U now tiling is removed from two so so two doesn't have tiling if let's say i want number one to have tiling i press ctrl shift t and you notice now everything is tiled and there is also ctrl shift u we remove the tiling there remain one thing here which is ctrl plus left bracket and right bracket if you want to let's say increase the the window or decrease the window these are the things the the left and the the right bracket sometimes they don't work that's why you have to change it 
So now he's telling us the config file is located at config zentile config dot So let us open it and see. We go to the home directory config. So zentile config. So if we look here. Let me open it. So this is the config file. As I told you, Control Shift T, Control Shift U. You have to be careful that Control Shift T and Control Shift U in your uh, window manager, they are not assigned. If they are assigned, you have to change them here from the config. Luckily, when you open this one, dash V, it will tell you that this shortcut is being used so you need to change it so you come to here and you change it so what i did here is increase the size of the master window i put it as control 6 and control 7 i only to be honest i only use these these two increase the window if i want to increase the window or decrease the window and the tiling that i use control shift t and control shift u you can also experiment with these but these are the things that are important to anyone. So for here, let's say it's still running. Let us close it and I will open it again. Okay, we'll go back to two. Let us open uh, the browser or control shift T. We enabled it. Now I want to open a file manager. So they are both like this. okay so it is working now control 6 and control 7 automatically you put a workspace for you for you and this workspace you use it for for the tiling let us try it a uh, last thing in open box and we'll see how it goes okay so now i'm in open box our i am in open box so what happens with open box is it is the same thing as iswm it has some things that make a pseudo tiling and the ones that are in the interest us are the ones inside open box config file which is rc.xml so in rc.xml there is you can add these key binds i added a key bind control 1 control 2 control 3 control 4 for example you can add whichever you want but you need to use action name unmaximize and action name move resize to you put x0 y0 the width is 50 percent and the height is 100 so it will create the left one the other one you put x minus 0 and y0 so it counts from the zero from the right side directly so it will be the right side the third one that i use in always in open box is that 66% so it will be 66% of the screen will be on the left side and the fourth one is the 33 the remaining 33 and another thing I use for open box to make it like a Tyler is I put for all applications class equal any class don't put a decor there is no decor to put and also for Yad I put a decor for it these are available in the rc.xml you can add them so you can have the same thing that you are having with iswm but for us we want to use this uh, zen tile and see how it goes with here so here i have four desktops one two three four and you if you know in in uh, open box you can directly if in the with the wheel you can change one two three four if you are on the desktop so first with what we say we have is we go to the terminal and in the terminal we have to go to the downloads cd downloads and we'll press we we'll press dot slash z zentile and my dash v in order to have it as verbose and you finish so this is on workspace one i want to use workspace two let me go to workspace two so now I'm in workspace 2. Let us open ZZZFM. Okay. 
and what we will do is I'll press Control Shift T to activate it. So now it is activated. Tiling is activated. I press another one, and if you notice, it is activated. If I press Control Six, Control Seven, as I did before, it will be like this. This is very useful for me. What I do, I I use this one is. I use a browser here and let's say you can use telegram so if you have a certain file you directly drag it from here to here and you use one workspace so if you are using this workspace you can work on it with the tiling now let's say if I am in workspace 3 I did not activate now the tiling so directly if I press let's say this one it will be like this and if I press another one there is no tiling but if I want to enable tiling here also what I will do is control shift T so now tiling is available if I want to increase or decrease control 6 7 or control left bracket white bracket you can do it like this and if you need let's say to have a another application let's say another another file manager you have it like this Notice here I'm not using key binding. Let's say if you have a key binding for the terminal, you press it. This is just to show that a floating window manager, which deals basically only with mouse with a minimal key binding, you can make a tiling like this. So this is also in open box, as you can see. You can also try it in XFCE. I already tried, there's no problem. You can have it. But you can, it cannot be used with, of course, with a tiling window manager because it will be disabled by default. I hope you like this uh, this uh, session and uh, I got a new way to be productive and especially ones who like open box and miss a certain feature to have. Zentile is a a big big boost for your productivity, especially in open box and IWM. Not to mention, of course, people who like JWM and Fluxbox will also cover them in another videos with another productivity hacks. Thank you.